Hi, Tip Carthen here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about people and their individual insecurities and their individual problems that they have with defensiveness. Now, I'm going to give you one simple example so that you can understand about what it is I'm speaking. When you're talking to somebody and say they start a conversation about something and then you start talking about something and say you differ with, with what it is they're saying, opinion-wise, and then somehow your differing with them equates to some attack on them. And then all of a sudden the conversation goes off the rails. But it goes off the rails because they think a difference of opinion equals some attack on them. Now, that's absolutely insane because everyone thinks differently. So there's no way in the world that my opinion is going to be exactly like yours. The problem is when a person does that, it causes a negative chain reaction of events. Think about what happens when a person gets angry. Well, over something like that. Well, all of a sudden, the conversation goes way off the rails. Because in essence, a person is defending themselves against something that doesn't exist. It's like a person thinking that you stole something from them. So they go off on you about the theft when you never stole anything. So they're actually going off on you about something that never occurred. I think about how crazy that is. But because they didn't deal with the situation correctly, you ended up running into these problems. The way that you deal with situations like that when you have a negative assumption is to clarify if what it is that you think is the assumption, the negative thing, is actually true. Here's a saying I always tell people. Assumptions are okay, but assuming negatively and then acting negatively based off a negative assumption, that's not okay. You can even think negatively, but if you make sure that you clarify before you act, then that means if you act negatively, it's probably because you clarified that the negative assumption was correct. So that's okay. But assuming negatively and then acting negatively off of it without clarifying or confirming, that's the bad thing. So when you have people that assume that you're attacking them in conversation and then they go off about it, that causes a negative chain reaction of events that's not even necessary if they had have just clarified or just asked. Now, a friend of mine who just passed uh, named Angie, it was funny because she was a perfect example of what an individual should do when it comes to their individual problems, when it comes to insecurities and defensiveness. Her and I had one situation where she did that. She assumed something negative. She assumed that I was saying something or be in a certain way and she didn't clarify and she reacted negatively off of it and did something that was you know really bad and then later the next day because I don't go past situations until they're fixed I stop right there because I'm not going to give it a chance to come back in the future so I waited the next day I talked to her about it and she apologized and she realized like man I assumed something negative and went off before even clarifying it and I said to her, you know, you have to clarify before you go off about something negative because, well, you think that's negative because if it's not negative, then you just waste the time. So once her and I had the conversation, her and I never had an argument ever again. Never. Why? Because anytime a negative assumption was made, like, is this person doing something negative? Which was rare because if you're around somebody who you think is a great person, you give them the benefit of the doubt. You don't think negatively from the top. But if there was any negative thought that came in, she would ask me, do I mean this? And of course I wouldn't mean that. So I'd be like, no, I was talking about something else. And then guess what? Her negative assumption that she was going to clarify, turns out that assumption was wrong. It was something that wasn't negative and boom, no problem. Never had an argument again. So try that people. Try to make sure you confirm that something is negative that you're assuming before you act negatively off of it. You will save yourself a ton of argument. Trust me.